This is dry ice, frozen carbon dioxide, sitting at a chilling minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the stuff you see creating dramatic fog at concerts or keeping perishable food cold during shipping. But dry ice has a hidden superpower. It can clean cars better, faster, and more sustainably than almost anything else out there. Dry ice cleaning, also called cryogenic cleaning, is one of the most advanced car detailing techniques available today. And it's not just about getting cars to look spotless, it's about precision, safety, and innovation. We're going to uncover how this process works, why it's transforming the car care industry, and why it might just be the future of detailing. Let's get started. To understand how dry ice cleans cars, we first need to understand what dry ice actually is. Dry ice isn't ice in the traditional sense. It's not made of water. Instead, it's pure carbon dioxide gas frozen into a solid form at extreme low temperatures. What makes dry ice so unique is the way it behaves. Unlike regular ice, which melts into water, dry ice skips the liquid phase entirely. It sublimates, turning directly from a solid into gas. This process is key to its cleaning power. Dry ice is stored as small pellets, usually around the size of rice grains. These pellets are loaded into a specialized machine that fires them out at supersonic speeds using compressed air. Imagine a sand blaster, but instead of sand, you're blasting frozen CO2. And here's the kicker. When the dry ice pellets hit a surface, they don't just clean, they disappear. There's no water runoff, no messy residue. It's fast, effective, and surprisingly clean for something that's, well, cleaning. So how does it actually work? What's happening when dry ice hits a grimy car part? When the pellets impact the surface, the extreme cold freezes the dirt and grease on contact, making it brittle. At the same time, the pellets sublimate turning from a solid to a gas. This rapid expansion creates tiny shock waves that lift contaminants off the surface. It's like a microscopic explosion happening right on the dirt. The combination of extreme cold and kinetic energy is what makes dry ice cleaning so powerful. And because the dry ice never turns into a liquid, it doesn't leave any moisture behind. This is especially important for cars. Traditional cleaning methods often rely on water and chemicals, which can seep into sensitive areas like electrical components or cause rust. Dry ice cleaning eliminates these risks entirely. Now let's talk about where dry ice cleaning really shines. It's not just for making your car look pretty, it's a tool for precision cleaning in areas where other methods fall short. Take engine bays for example. Engines are notoriously difficult to clean. You've got oil, grease and years of grime baked into every surface. Most traditional methods involve degreasers, scrubbing and a lot of water. But with dry ice, you can clean even the most intricate parts without disassembling anything. The cold, high pressure blasts get into every crevice, leaving the engine spotless without risking water damage. Then there's the undercarriage of your car. This is one of the dirtiest, most neglected parts of any vehicle. It's exposed to road grime, salt and debris, which can lead to rust and corrosion over time. Dry ice cleaning not only removes this buildup, but also prevents further damage by leaving the surface completely dry. And yes, even interiors can benefit from dry ice cleaning. Leather seats, dashboards and vents can all be cleaned with incredible precision because the process is non-abrasive. It's safe for delicate materials, leaving them looking fresh and new without the need for harsh chemicals. One of the most exciting things about dry ice cleaning is how eco-friendly it is. Think about a traditional car wash or detailing session. You're using gallons of water, chemicals and degreasers. And when the job's done, all of that dirty chemical laden water runs off into the environment. Dry ice cleaning, it uses none of that. No water, no chemicals, no harmful runoff. The only thing that's left behind is the dirt you've removed. And here's another bonus. The dry ice is made of recycled CO2, often captured as a byproduct of industrial processes. By using dry ice, you're not adding new emissions to the atmosphere. It's a closed loop process that repurposes existing carbon dioxide. 
Now is it completely carbon neutral? Not quite, but compared to traditional cleaning methods, it's a massive step in the right direction. Of course, no method is perfect, and dry ice cleaning is no exception. There are a few limitations to keep in mind. First, the cost. The machines required for dry ice cleaning aren't cheap, ranging from several thousand dollars for entry-level models to tens of thousands for industrial-grade systems. That puts it out of reach for most DIY car enthusiasts. Second, there's the dry ice itself. Now dry ice needs to be stored at extremely low temperatures, which means you'll need specialized storage equipment. And because it sublimates over time, it has a limited shelf life. Lastly, while dry ice cleaning is incredibly effective for many applications, it's not a one size fits all solution. For example, it's not ideal for cleaning large areas of thick caked on mud or certain types of sticky residue. It's best used as a precision tool for targeted cleaning. Despite its challenges, dry ice cleaning is an incredible innovation in the world of car detailing. It's precise, safe, and environmentally friendly, a rare combination in any industry. Whether you're restoring a classic car, detailing a luxury vehicle, or just looking for a better way to keep your ride clean, dry ice cleaning offers a glimpse into the future of car care. Dry ice cleaning is changing the game for car detailing. It's fast, eco-friendly, and doesn't use a single drop of water. At minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit, you've probably seen it in science experiments, Halloween fog machines, or maybe keeping your food cold during shipping. Dry ice is just carbon dioxide in its solid form. At minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit, it's way colder than anything you keep in your freezer. It doesn't melt into a liquid, it skips straight from a solid to a gas. That's called sublimation. And this property is what makes dry ice so useful. When these pellets hit a dirty surface, the extreme cold freezes the dirt, grease or grime. And as it turns to gas, it expands rapidly, blasting the contaminants off the surface. No water, no residue, just pure clean. The pellets are loaded into the machine that uses compressed air to shoot them at speeds of over 600 miles per hour. Think of it like sandblasting, but way cooler, literally. Now you might be wondering, how does this actually clean a car? When the dry ice hits a surface, it does two things. First, the extreme cold causes dirt and grease to contract and loosen. Second, the sublimation process creates tiny, high-pressure gas explosions that physically lift contaminants off the surface. Sometimes the simplest solution, like frozen carbon dioxide, can have the biggest impact. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories about cutting edge techniques shaping the automotive world. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.